Hi everybody, my name is Sheila Landry and I'm from Tall Painting Designs and I'm here today to introduce you to my new series of patterns and tall painting kits that I've created for you. Um, I'm calling this series North Star Village and what it's going to be is a series of storefronts that are all dressed up for the Christmas season. Um, we all love Christmas and I don't know about you guys but I like to paint it all year long and I thought it would be nice to create a little village that depicts all different kinds of little quaint stores with different themes and um, I was really excited about this. I've been thinking about it for a couple of years and it's taken a lot of thought for me because I want everything to go together and I want the subsequent um, buildings in that to match and stuff like that. So it's been a long time in coming, but I finally decided to get moving on it instead of thinking about it. And I'm introducing my first store, which is a toy store that I'm calling Toys in the Attic. Um, for those of you who've known me a long time, my first company was called Toys in the Attic, and I used to make mohair teddy bears and different toys and things like that. So since I evolved to woodworking and painting, I kind of changed the company name as things went down the line. But I thought this would be a nice um, starting point for me. Now, um, the toy store is the first in the series. And each of the buildings will have a full um, color pattern with them. The, to the Toys in the Attic pattern is 30 pages long. And for those of you who have gotten my patterns before, you know that I like to put details in. And I take lots and lots of pictures. And I go through every step and show you different techniques and things like that. And what I'm going to do with this series, too, and that's the purpose of this video, is to introduce you to different techniques. So there's been a lot of people, for example, that want to know how I paint my, um, my trees so nice. And what I'm going to do in the follow-up videos from this is use like a little card here. This is a little piece of wood that I cropped. And I'm going to show you how I paint the tree, and then I'm going to go on and do the little bear for you in another video. So we're going to have like a series of short videos where you could say, okay, I want to learn how she does this or that. And you could apply this techniques to your other painting too, so they'll be kind of fun. And I think by keeping them short, as short as possible, um, then you can pinpoint them and you can kind of just search through my um, category there and find them and not have to spend two or three hours looking on um, YouTube or going through everything or skipping around. So um, the tree was easy. Like I said, that'll be a short one. And then the bear is next. Here's the little bear in the pattern. So between everything, you should be able to create these um, adorable heirloom houses with um, no problem whatsoever and now I'm going to be selling the kits for these I do sell the kits um, they're done up in deco arts beautiful colors um, deco art Americanas are the main paints that I use but I also use like the metallics and some of their specialty paints and they just came out with new products that are just amazing so I'm going to be adding um, you know more things and talk about that um you can get deco art just about anywhere but they also have an online site and i'll have all the links there for you my wood kits um will include the overlay pieces i want each of my my stores to have overlay pieces because not only are they more dimensional and more interesting but they're easier to paint too. You can paint like the whole roof and then you put the little horse on instead of stopping and starting to do shingles and stuff like that. So I think it's easier, prettier, and more fun. And they will all come with stands, which are three pieces. There's two pieces here that you glue. 
and it's a very simple process. You just slot them in and stand them up. And if you want to store them flat, they go in a box. So, you know, we all think about storage off season. So they're very easy. If you want to glue them in, that's fine. You can do that. Um, each of the villages or the stores are going to come in um, sizes. This is a small size, which is five inches tall. And the larger size is seven inches tall. So you can decide which one you want. The patterns will contain um, line work for both sizes. So let's see if I can get that. So I will have both sizes in all the patterns. You don't have to buy separate patterns. So you can choose what you want to do from that. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was I'm using silver brushes, which I absolutely love. I used to use Low Cornell, and they've kind of changed a lot and gone over a lot of different companies. And um, my friend Peggy Harris um, introduced silver brushes to me. And there's several different lines I use for different things, and I'll explain those in the videos. And I think they're the best brushes around. They're really a good price, and they last long, and I find I'm using them more and more. So anyway, that's the introduction. Um, I hope that you are intrigued by this little series. I'm also going to be doing later on, when I catch up, I'm going to do a Halloween village. That'll be kind of nice. It'll be North Star Village, Haunted Village. So that's going to be fun. It's going to have all kinds of creepy buildings and that. But that's down the line. I'm going to try to keep moving on my um, storefront series right now. I'm thinking it'll take about a month each one. Now that I have the first one done, it took a little longer because I had to format everything and get everything straightened in my head so that the subsequent buildings will match and you know everything will flow nicely so when you get them later on you can set them up but um i'll be introducing them as they come out my next one will be a florist i'm going to call it the enchanted florist and i'm going to be starting designing that this weekend and painting it um you can join my facebook group it's called let's paint and create with sheila landry and we have over 2,000 members now in two years, so that's great. And I check in there probably about three or four times a week with everybody, if not more. I'm there every day, but I do an update and show you all what I'm working on because I like to work with watercolors and needlework and all kinds of stuff too. So I kind of show what I'm working on there, and they kind of get the first dibs on everything. And... um you can subscribe here on YouTube, and I would love to see you do that. That would be nice um, for me to comment would be helpful and to like my videos so then I get seen more. So as I grow, I hope you follow along with me. Okay, so that's about it. Um, I'm going to get back to work, and I'm going to start doing that little tree and teddy bear video for you so they'll be up soon look in the category i'm going to put these all in one category for you in youtube so you can find them easily okay so thank you for stopping by and i appreciate your comments and suggestions and stop by my tollpaintingdesigns.com to see all my painting patterns kits and things like that thank you bye bye